Do you like anime, fellow human? Well, if you do, then there might be something very interesting for you in the World of Tanks Blitz shop this time around. But in any other case, are there good things for normal people as well? And what should you buy? What should you definitely avoid? Let's see what you get. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now in the resources this time, we have quite the terrible rotation because all of these include credits and credits more often devalue a bundle rather than add value to it. I mean, nowhere near as terrible as, for example, adding a camouflage to a bundle, which essentially also devalues the value of the bundle because they're worth nothing. Credits and camos and 30 days of premium and boosters. So basically you're paying for the premium time, you're paying for the boosters and the rest is value. That isn't actually any value because you can grind credits in this game very easily. Because, I mean, let's for example look at this bundle. 36 euros, 13k gold, 30 days of premium, the boosters. Let's say we would pack 25 times 5 XP into this bundle instead of 1.5 million credits. It would be much better, but the credits just... Their value to add value without actually adding value. So I highly recommend against buying bundles that include credits like this. And instead, look out for things that include times fives or include more boosters, for example. We start off with the festive charm vehicles. One of them is the 114, which is unusual for a Chinese vehicle because it does have nine degrees of gun depression, but that's kind of where the good things about this vehicle stop. It's mediocre at best. And to be honest, if you spend money for this, you're kind of ripping yourself off at that point. So not really much else to say about this vehicle. Don't buy it. It is not worth your money. If the Object 752 would be here, there would be a completely different tone. We also have two tier 8s in here. One of them is the Alt Proto AMX30, which is a decent vehicle that is purchasable, I'd say. 2200 base DPM, 280 alpha damage, 10 degrees of gun depression, solid mobility. The armor is fine for a medium tank of this type. Can be worth picking up in certain scenarios. Obviously, if you can get it for free, even better. But given this event, eh, probably not. And then, speaking of there are better vehicles out there, the ISU-152 completely towers over the ISU-130's existence, so unless you can actually get this vehicle for free at some point, I definitely do not recommend purchasing it. Moving on with the Panzer 58. Now, normally 5.5k gold bundles are a pretty good thing. Unfortunately, this might be one of the worst 5.5k bundles I've ever seen in my life. Now, there are great bundles for 5.5k, like, for example, with the T-34 or the Lerva that include 30 days of premium time. Whereas this thing instead includes five worthless mystery boxes. It includes avatars. It includes times five XPs that are locked to the Panzer 58. And it also includes one million credits. You buy a premium tank to earn credits. Why would you buy the credits with a premium tank in the first place? You're just buying the same thing twice. So here's the thing. This vehicle, it's got a good TPM, but it got no armor. It's vastly inferior to something like a Chimera or a Centurion 5-1. So you're not going to do much with this. Now, at least it doesn't have terrible penetration like a majority of tier 8 medium tanks. So this one has 212 instead of 180. So that's a little bit of an upside. But this is more of a vehicle to challenge yourself somewhere in the League of Alliance and C or M4 Ravioli rather than a serious credit grinding vehicle. The same can't be said about the Rampant Raiders. Now, obviously, the Barask and the M31D combined 8.5k, 3.5k. This bundle right here is a clear upsell. But in this case, it is a good upsell. It does include worthless things like avatars. And it includes a locked times 5 XP, which isn't really that amazing. Because, obviously, you have to then convert that Elite XP to free XP with gold. But nonetheless, you get five times the free XP as well. So there's a little bit of an upside to it, but they are vastly, vastly inferior to unlocked times five that you can use to grind your tech tree vehicle. So they're not really much value here. The Barask, yeah, I mean, it's a good vehicle. It has terrible penetration. It has no armor whatsoever. It is very mobile. It has a two shot autoloader with 320 alpha damage. It's good enough if you are a good player and know what to do with this tank, essentially. And the M301D, it's fun. It's just fun. It's good, and it's fun. So, for light tanks, for if you are a player that is good with paper vehicles, this is a decent bundle. I mean, yeah, I already talked about the crushers five times. It's crap. So, anyway. Enemy 
However, what's not crap is the free containers, because, I mean, they're free, and if it's free, it's good, right, most of the time. Open the free, look at that, I got 35 credit boosters out of that huge containers. With those 35 credit boosters and about half an hour of my time, I will have earned the amount of credits in that bundle up in the resource section. Why would I buy it? Speaking of, why would you buy that? The Kuro 45T lockboxes. Now, lockboxes are gambling. And given that the target audience of this game is mostly children, it should also be illegal. But unfortunately, it is not yet, because this is simulated gambling rather than real gambling. So, it's still allowed, it's still here, and it's still a terrible deal that you should never, ever buy. Just like the ship... <laughs> there is much better things to spend your money on. And then there's also the awesome draw, which is a gambling for a gambling, and in the case of some crates, for more gambling! Because out of the black box, you can get another black box. So, you're gambling for gambling for gambling. Gambling... squared? I guess? It's just getting out of hand, like, completely. Someone stop them, please. In terms of the events, obviously, the Season 3 is still ongoing, and the reason why I'm bringing this up again is because I have to rephrase something about the silencer that I've said last week. Some people misunderstood it, so let me repeat that in a more useful term. Basically, what I said is the silencer is a charioteer with a worse gun. What I meant is that it's a charioteer with a gun that's worse than the charioteer's gun. I didn't say this tank's gun is bad, because, in fact, this autoloader right here is pretty solid. And then we have the Dragon's Fortune event, in which Wargaming continually proves that 15-year-old horny boys is their main target audience. Because, I mean, she looks 15, she's got massive honkers, who do you think the target audience is? Hmm? But like I've said before, if you were to obtain the ISU-130 for free, then that wouldn't be too bad. But this entire top row, once again, is only obtainable with tokens from the store. So nothing in this upper row you will get for free. Which kind of makes the vehicles a bit pointless, and uh, also, you have to pay for that. Wow. Anyway, this line down here at least is for free, you can get some uh, snippets or whatever they're called, and you can also get a crate. I mean, the main attraction really here is the, te the 10 gold boosters, you can get a couple of gold out of that. Perfectly fine. If you can play for it, well, it's free! Get it!